We recently took a trip to Call Car Interpretive Center in Charleston, South Carolina, which is a former rice plantation. If you guys have been paying attention to my post, you recognize immediately that these are the rice plantations that the Gullah Geechis and the Indians escaped from. Looking at these photos and how they're dressed reminded me that our ancestors were literally stripped of all they had, their clothing, their way of life, their land, and their culture. The park guide gave us some information on the history of this place and pointed out how hard it is to actually cultivate cultivate rice. She said they did such an amazing job that you can still see their work from space 300 years later. She said the work that they did reminded her of the pyramids that were built in Egypt and that after the abolition of slavery there was no one that could complete the work so they ended up having to shut down the plantation. Critical thinkers know that these were the descendants of the people they found in Kemet but anyway this was such a powerful hike. We felt every bit of our ancestors energy and the trees told us everything that we needed to know. The trees looked like they needed some love so I gave it to them and yes I'm a real life tree hugger. <laughs> Our ancestors built this with their bare hands. Rice does not naturally grow in this region, so it required plenty of manual labor to get it to harvest. I knew instantly the trees that were used to once carry our ancestors' lifeless bodies. They grew differently. It almost seems as if they appeared to be distressed. Slave owners hung runaways that failed to escape and anyone that dared to resist in order to instill fear into others and discourage them from running. However, However, our ancestors never stopped fighting, no matter how many scare tactics were used. The Stono Rebellion was one of many rebellions that took place in this area. It occurred in 1739 and it was the rebellion that kickstarted the Jim Crow laws. It was the largest revolt in the British colonies. Over 100 prisoners of war rebelled against their oppressors. They burned several plantations and stole firearms and liquor from a nearby shop. They ran through the town, lighting it on fire, chanting and singing to attract more people to join them. Some of them were eventually caught and were hung, or their body parts were put on display along the walkway of the fields in order to scare others away from trying to escape. This caused colonial powers to tighten up the laws around slavery. It was so hot, but I chose to pour the rest of my water on the floor as libations, as a sacrifice for our ancestors who had to work under the hot sun for hours at a time without any water. Getting out and experiencing this has encouraged me to continue on with my activism and ensuring that we are all paid the proper restitutions in order to make amends for the mass atrocities committed against our ancestors.